right? You could say I would you could say maybe I would rent my own apartment. If I had a job, I would rent my own apartment. Rent? Uh, you know, rent? Okay. Yeah, so if I had a job, I would rent my own apartment. So what, th what this actually is, is the second conditional. Have you guys ever seen that before, the second conditional sentences? It says, if I did this, then this will happen. Have we, heard, have we seen that before in a, in a class before? Yes. So yes. it's, but it's, a, so it's a imaginary or a hypothetical situation. So like, so like this, if I won the lottery, like we talked about before, I would buy a house, right? So that's an, that's an imaginary, uh, imaginary situation or hypothetical situation. I did not really win the lottery. But I'm saying if I won the lottery, I would buy a house, right? So I thought that it would be interesting to talk about that. I brought the lotto ticket and everything to get some ideas going. So this is like if I had a job. So someone who does not have a job, be like a, it would be like a hypothetical or imaginary situation if I had a job. Well, hopefully that person is not homeless, but they would not be homeless. Or I would earn a lot of money, something like that. So you guys have seen this? I was wondering if you had seen this before. Yeah? Oh, okay, great. You guys have all seen this? Okay, good. So it's just, so the, the structure of, we, we understand the, the structure of it and how all that works. So you, you have seen this before? Like if, so I will do it, I will do it uh, quickly then. But if, and then the simple past. And then, then the base form, you've seen this? Right? Have you seen this before? If, simple, past, and base form? That's how, OK. So you have it in your book there. Did you go through it recently in another class before? Oh, OK. Two weeks ago. Oh, good. So you're taking uh, multiple classes that have it. Very good. Very good. So uh, yeah, so that's basically what this is. I, want, I thought it would be uh, an interesting. Um, an interesting thing to talk about the lottery tickets and all of that. So I brought I brought a little uh, worksheet for I brought a little worksheet for practice, and then I have a I have a board game after that that we can play. I brought dice and I and I brought another uh, board game for us to play, like we did. Uh, what was that like maybe a week ago? I think we did the board game. Do we remember pennies, dice, all that? It has funny questions on it. Um, it has funny questions on it. So if you, uh, so I'll give you this. We can do in uh, in pairs too. Uh, just a little practice, a little practice on it. I think you guys said you have seen it before, right? So uh, this is just a little practice on that. And then I'll get the board game ready for later as well, and get all the the dice and and all of that. So you guys have seen this before. I'll give you a few minutes to to take a look at it. So. So like for the first one there, it says, if we rented, or if we rent that big apartment, we blank enough room for the dog. So if we blank that big apartment, we blank enough room for the dog. So you, what you're going to do is you are going to change the verb tense to fit the second conditional like we just went over, right? So do you understand? Uh, so what will you do there? What will you do then? You will change the verb tenses, right? What will we be doing here? Do we understand? Uh, so what will we do? We change it, right? Yeah, very good. Yep, very good.